Here we have Cognosc report with two lists. Uh, these two lists have the same data, just this list on the right side is sorted and this list on the left side is not sorted. I will now add total to this list on the right side. I will select this column and then by holding control key I will also click on this column to select it. And then we can click here in toolbar on this button. We will choose default summary and our total will appear. And the only total that we got is this grand total. Now we will move to this uh, list on the left side. Uh, here we will try to get subtotals. In order to get subtotals we have to group our columns. I will first select this buyer column and then I will click on this button to group this uh, column. Uh, grouping means that all the rows that pertain to one buyer will be grouped uh, together with that buyer. So it will look like this. And we can also group this uh, second column. We will select it, we will click on this button and now this column is also grouped. It is also possible to select several columns and then to click on this button the result would be the same. Now we are ready to add totals. Uh, for that we will select column quantity and column value. We will click on total, default summary and our totals will appear. Here at the bottom we have grand total but we also got subtotal for each invoice and subtotal for each uh, buyer because we did grouping by those two columns by buyer column and by invoice ID column. But someone could be unsatisfied with the fact that there is a lot of empty space in these two columns. Someone would like that each buyer and invoice ID should be repeated on each row and there is a solution for that problem. Now first I will uh, copy this list into this cell on the left side. So I will select this list. I will click Ctrl C, then I will select this cell and then I will click Ctrl V and I will got a copy of my list. Now in order to solve our problem we have to change one property. So I will select this column, I will go to group span property and I will change its value to none. But I will get a message and this message will say that it is not possible to change the value of this property because of headers and footers. Now what are those headers and footers? Well this subtotal is considered as footer. Also this subtotal and this uh, grand total. So we will select them all and we will click on delete to remove them. Now that they are removed we can change our property. So again I will select this column. I will go to group span and first I will now change uh, value of this property to invoice ID. In this case for each invoice ID we would have our name of a buyer but if we change this to none and now in, in this case uh, we have a name of a buyer on each row. We can also apply uh, the same property for this second column. First we will change this setting from invoice ID to buyer and we will see that this will not work. So this is not correct approach because not all of invoice IDs are presented. We only see one invoice ID for each buyer. But if we change this to none, in that case uh, we will have an invoice ID on each row and this is an acceptable solution. Now we can add totals. I will select again this quantity column and value column. I will go to total button, default summary and our uh, total and uh, subtotals will be added. We can see now that we have name of our buyer and invoice ID on each row. The only difference is that here subtotals are indented, but uh, on the is uh, left side uh, we have subtotal that uh, occupies the whole width of a list. 